There are a number of sea creatures out there that have been around since dinosaurs roamed the earth. And being that old, they are assumed to have gone extinct, when in fact, not all of them are. From plenty of ancient sharks to weird alien looking creatures, let's talk about this and more only in today's video. Starting off this countdown, we have coelacanth. What's confusing about these fish isn't their name, it's the fact that everyone thought that they went extinct alongside the dinosaurs. Then millions of years later, they were rediscovered. These dudes have the most famous comeback story of all time. So in the 19th century, scientists discovered a fossil of this fish. This fossil was over 410 million years old. They thought that they went extinct over 66 million years ago. So it shocked scientists in 1938 when they were rediscovered off of the coast of South Africa. But they did have have some new features thanks to evolution. Now the fish has four fins that move more like limbs than fins. Theory goes that maybe they were going to become a land dwelling amphibian and then they kind of just changed their mind. I know that's not how evolution works, but it's the easiest way to describe it. So yeah, here's a creature that used to rule the world alongside dinosaurs. In our ninth spot today we have Nautilus. This is an ancient mollusk that has been around for 500 million years. In fact, they have been around before Pangaea was even fully formed. Now, originally there were 10,000 different species, but now only a few are left and are at risk of extinction. That's because of us. We are over harvesting them, and on top of that, they are slow at reproducing. They need to be left alone right now because they run the risk of extinction. It's kind of sad once you think about it. Like they survived for hundreds of millions of years and only now start to die thanks to humans. Coming in at number 8 we have the horseshoe crab. Now what's trippy is that despite their name, they are not crabs. In fact, they are more closely related to spiders or scorpions, isn't that weird? Now these bad boys are considered one of evolution's ultimate survivors. That's because they date back to 450 million years, meaning they survived 5 mass extinctions. Now these guys can grow anywhere from 18 to 19 inches, from head to tail. Males grow a little less in size, only being 14 to 15 inches. Still, that's pretty big. The horseshoe crab consists of three parts. They got a front shell, a back shell, and a tail. Now, you may be looking at this tail and you're like, whoa, what the hell? No, 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 that thing can sting me and then kill me. False, horseshoe crabs, although creepy looking, are harmless, but they do have eyes everywhere. They have 10 in total and that freaks me out. In our seventh spot today, we have the goblin shark. Now, if you've seen my other video on sea creatures, then you know how much I hate this guy. It literally gives me the creeps, and I'll show you why in a second. Now, the goblin shark has actually been declared a living fossil, and that's due to the fact that it was thought to have gone extinct millions of years ago. That was until 1891, when a goblin shark was spotted off the coast of Japan. Researchers realized that the shark was indeed still alive. And in fact, it barely changed over time, hence why it's considered a living fossil. So these creatures can grow 12 feet long and can weigh up to 460 pounds. But in 2000, they found a giant goblin shark that was 20 feet long. So now researchers say that they have no real idea about how big they can truly get. Now, these things have the creepiest looking appearance hence why I'm not the biggest fan of them. Plus they have this weird ligament thing in their jaw that makes it so that they can extend their mouth out and snatch up their prey. Plus their mouths launch out really fast. That's also why its mouth area just looks so creepy. In our sixth spot today we have the lamprey. Has anyone here watched a series of unfortunate events? You know, the movie with Jim Carrey, not the TV show. Well, you know that scene where they're on the lake and the giant leeches start attacking their boat? Well, lamprey look exactly like those giant leeches. These things look like they're a mix between a snake, an eel, and a leech. They can be anywhere from 5 to 40 inches in length, and they attack fish by sucking the life out of them. They're literally like a vampire. Now wait until you see their mouth. They have 11 or 12 rows of teeth that wrap around in their mouth like a ring. And once they latch onto their victim, they use a barbed tongue to pierce the fish and then just drain the blood out of them. They also excrete a blood thinner to prevent blood clotting. What's crazy is that these creatures have survived four major extinctions in their 360 million year existence. That is wild. We are now at our fifth and halfway mark with the frilled shark. Now this is another pretty creepy looking shark. In fact, it doesn't even look like a shark. It looks like an eel mixed with a snake mixed with a shark. But fun fact, these sharks are actually the cousins of the great white shark and the hammerhead shark. Now 
these bad boys have been around for 80 million years. Pretty insane, right? They live in the dark abyss of the deep sea and have rarely changed over the years. Now, they were given the name of the frilled shark because of the frilly appearance of their gills. They also are kind of similar to snakes because they have hinged jaws that allow them to eat big creatures whole. But you don't need to worry, okay? They live deep in the ocean and they don't really show themselves to humans. In our fourth spot today, we have the Wabagong shark. Again, another shark that doesn't really look like a shark. And that's because this shark has camouflage techniques and it likes to blend in with algae covered rocks or the ocean floor. And they do a good job with it too, with their flattened bodies and speckled patterns on their bodies. Now, these dudes have been around since 11 million years ago. But don't worry, these sharks don't attack. They'll leave you alone if you leave them alone. The only time they have attacked is when a diver got too close or someone accidentally stepped on one. But no fatalities have ever been reported. In our third spot, we have the Greenland shark. This shark is said to be one of the longest lived vertebrae animals. The shark is also said to be one of the world's largest carnivores and one of the most successful predators in the Arctic waters. These massive sharks are about the same size as a great white shark and eat crustaceans along with things that have fallen off of the ice shelf above. Also, apparently these creepy worm-like parasites like to attach themselves to these sharks' eyes and literally eat their eyes out, okay? I think that's scarier than the shark itself. But yeah, the Greenland shark is still alive today. They live for at least 250 years. One of them lived for 400 years. Some may live to be 500. Isn't that crazy? For reference, a great white shark lives for only 70 years. So they got nothing on the Greenland sharks. Coming in at number two, we have a pygmy right whale. Now, these whales have been around for about 23 million years. In fact, they are considered one of the rarest species of whales. Around two million years ago, they were thought to have gone extinct. That was until 2012 when they were rediscovered. Besides that mystery, there's another one, which is scientists don't know where exactly this whale evolved from. There's been much debate over this for a while. What we do know though is that these whales like cool waters, which is what puts them at risk because of climate change. Scientists are worried the rising ocean temperatures will wipe them out for good. And in our number one spot today, we have the whale shark. Here's another name that does not match the creature because this animal is not a whale at all. It's not even a whale shark hybrid. The only reason it's called a whale shark is because of its size. It currently holds many records for size in the animal kingdom. It is the largest shark and largest living non-mammalian creature. And it's been around for at least 26 million years. However, now they are endangered. Now, when you think of sharks, you think that they love to eat fish and if they get a whiff of blood, they'll just go crazy. Well, whale sharks aren't like that at all. In fact, they are filter feeders, meaning they eat plankton, fish eggs, decaying plants, etc. So these sharks are pretty harmless. In fact, an aquarium in Atlanta lets you swim with them. In case that was on your bucket list, there you go. All right guys, that's all for today's video. Let me know about these ancient creatures. Which one did you find the coolest? Which one did you find the creepiest? I'm sorry, the goblin shark will always be the creepiest to me. And now speaking of comments, let's move on to our comment shout out portion. I'll be shouting out comments from the video. Top 10 weirdest Antarctica laws that make zero sense to outsiders. Jolt. Karner commented, all other organs should be removed. Who knows what will go wrong? Yes, if you wanna go to Antarctica, you gotta remove everything. Just remove your heart, intestines, just let it go, and then you'll have a fun time. Kayla SYC commented, I love this channel so much, and Lindsay is my fave. I've never missed a video. Whoa, shout out to you. I bet you have your post notifications on. If you don't, put on your post notifications. Hit that little bell. And Dilly Dills, Muay Thai for life commented, y'all should do New Zealand next and maybe I will. Let me know in the comments below what place you want me to do next if I were to continue on with this weirdest laws series. All right guys, that's all the comments I'm shouting out for today's video. Make sure to comment something down below for a chance to be featured in my next comment shout out. And as always, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to Most Amazing Top 10 for more amazing videos. I've been your host, Lindsay Ivan, and I'll see you when I see ya. Bye.